Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all so much for coming to join us at the Shelburne Hotel this evening for the Easy Food Home Cook Hero Awards 2015. This evening is all about celebrating those unsung heroes of cookery, people who cook every day at home for themselves and their families. This is their chance to show how talented they are on a national stage, and this competition highlights the best from every corner of the country, and we mean every corner. I was lucky enough earlier this morning to meet some of these home cook heroes. Uh, we're here at Cooks Academy here in Dublin. It's Saturday morning. The competitors for the Easy Food Home Cook Hero Awards are just inside. They're making a lot of noise. There's a great buzz going on in there. If you just strain your ears a little bit, you can hear what's going on. There's a lot of excitement wrapped around it. So let's go in and check it out. And here we are. It's just after 9.30, it's Saturday morning, and the competitors are really busy getting stuff in order because there's some big prizes up for grabs this evening. Down here, that's where we get all the fans. They're getting very excited, especially Bridie and the scarf. There's a reason why you have them all behind plated glass. Police records, what can I tell you? Well, they've come from far and wide to be here today, and John has made quite a journey. Where did you come from, John? Um, I'm from Kinsale. All right. Yep. Did you journey up today? No, I journeyed up. I came up yesterday on a train, so it was grand, you know. Okay, well, we didn't think you walked. Yeah. <laughs> it's no, a fair old walk. Don't worry. Now, a little bird has told me, Lily, that you're cooking something very special. Um, I'm cooking lemon and poppy seed pancakes. All right. I, you see, pancakes will get my attention. And they're gluten-free as well. So they're healthy pancakes? Yeah. Is this one of your own creations? Uh, yeah, my dad is celiac, so it's a nice nutritious breakfast for him. Well, we get the chance to watch all this as it happens, but somebody's got to judge us, and we decided to get the very, very best in the business. But they weren't available, so we got this lot. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mum. Catherine, Nick and Gina, good to see you. I, and welcome to the judging panel, Nick. I know, look at that. I, I feel like the ham between the, <laughs> the lovely bread. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, we've got eight categories. That's 24 competitors. There's a lot of judging to be done, but a lot of food to be eaten. Have you got your baggy trousers? I have. Yeah, <laughs> all elastic. Okay, we're good to go. <laughs> the first category up this evening is Best Burger, sponsored by Mr. Crumb and presented by Orla Brady of Mr. Crumb. <laughs> now, Best Burger was the category for the best homemade burger recipe. So let's see how they got on. I'm cooking a mint lamb burger because my dad doesn't eat burgers and my mum is not a big fan of lamb. I decided to kill two birds at one stone and they ended up loving it, so it's a big hit now in our house. Today I'm going to make a pizza burger. My family and I found it on holidays and when we came home I ended up making it and put my own twist to it and it's just been a family favourite ever since. Today I'm cooking a sweet and spicy venison burger. Um, most of the ingredients are local and they're all Irish and my six-year-old loves burger. This is my mint and lamb burger and it is truly magnificent. This is my venison burger, sweet and spicy, and it's sweet and spicy. This is my pizza burger, all the best parts of a pizza and a burger all rolled up in one. That is lovely. Mm. Be nice with a mint relish, wouldn't it? Mm. Great taste as well from the burger. Mm, it's a nice combination of mm. burgers. It's not overpowering, it's lovely. Oh, look at the juiciness just coming out of that. Look at that. Because I say, I'm not mad about venison either, really, but in a burger sense, it sounds actually quite, quite good, doesn't it? Mm. Mm. Order. Can you please tell us who the winner is? It gives me great pleasure to announce the winner for Best Burger, sponsored by Mr. Crum, is... Rory Donegan, with his minty lamb burger. Now, the winner of each category will go forward for the overall prize of Easy Food Dish of the Year. So, Rory, it could be you. We'll have to wait and see. Our next category is Butter Me Up, sponsored by Connacht Gold and presented by Lydia Rogers of Connacht Gold. Now here our finalists were allowed to create a sweet or savoury dish once it contained the star ingredient, Connacht Gold Butter. So let's see how they got on. 
I'm making a chocolate brownie pizza. It's combined with two favorite foods in the world, chocolate and pizza, so dessert pizza. I'm going to cook a lemon polenta cake. It's a school staff favorite and it's always a clean plate at the end. I am going to cook a zucchini lasagna, um, which reminds me of home and it's something that my mum used to cook for me and for the family. and roll of pizza brownie slice and I wish you could smell it, it smells fantastic. This is my lemon polenta, perfection on a plate. And this is my zucchini lasagna, deliciosa, pronta per essere mangiata. It's not so nice to have a lasagna that doesn't have meat in it for Excellent. a change. Do you know something that's yeah. got a, and there's zucchini? A, there's a nice al dente taste to it as well, it's lovely. Oh, oh look at the texture in it. It's oh, nice and soft, isn't it? Oh, and the colour. It's very mm. moist, is it? Mm. <laughs> Some Maltesers as well, yeah. Maltesers, oh, and look how gooey gosh. it is. Let's see who our winner is, Lydia. Congratulations to all finalists. The winner of the Butter Me Up category, sponsored by Connick Gold, is... Anne-Marie Lavery. <laughs> The next category is Easy Cheesy, sponsored by Dublin or Irish Cheese and presented by Neve Lennon. So let's see just how they do it. I'm making macaroni and cheese today because um, one of my mom's best friends always makes it when she comes over. And we all love it because it is a great tasting American dish. Yeah, I'm cooking cheese and strips with potato cakes. Um, this recipe is my granny's and every day after school I'll go down to her house and if she has potato cake, if she has potatoes left over, I'll, she'll make them for me and I added the cheese and chorizo to make them extra tasty. Today I'm cooking a simple steak sandwich. It's a family favourite of ours. My husband is a son of a butcher, so steak is way up there on the menu in our house. Claire's simple steak sandwich, simply delicious. This is my mac and, che mac and cheese classic American dish and I love it. These are my cheese and chorizo potato cakes and I'm pretty confident that they taste great. Mm, it's lovely. Mm, that's lovely, isn't it? It's nice to taste. Mm. Really creamy. Mm. Really creamy. I like that. Yeah. It's, nice it's got a bit of a kick to it. Yeah, it has mm. definitely. The aftertaste yeah. is lovely. lovely. I can just imagine eating the whole thing, you know what I mean? Really hot and just yeah. juicy. Juicy and mm. a, a nice cold beer on the side. I like them. Mm. That's good. Mm. There's a whole depth of flavour. The chorizo with the potato is always a winner anyway. Mm. And you get that light cheesy flavour coming through. Beautiful. Mm. Neve, Neve, please tell us who's won. Three very worthy finalists, but I'm deli delighted to announce the winner of the Dubliner Cheese Easy Cheesy category is John Walsh with Jill's Macaroni and Cheese. The next category is Everyday Inspiration, sponsored by Bird's Eye and presented by Marissa Cagney. So let's take a look. Um, today I'm cooking Bird's Eye potato waffles with my smoke and baked beans. Um, they, they make great vegan uh, food, they're quick and easy. They remind me of my, uh, my student days, but uh, they're a bit more sophisticated now. I'm cooking a savoury rice dish. And the reason why I'm cooking is that everybody loves it and it's the easy recipe to put together. I'm cooking the pea soup because it's one of my mom's favourite dishes and she taught me how to do it. These are my smoking baked beans on bird's eye potato waffles and they're smoking. This is my pea soup with smoked crashes and it ticks all the boxes. This is my Simply Savoury Rice. It's simply delicious. Beautiful flavour of that. Mmm. Mmm. Croutons are good as well, aren't they? Very nice. Very good. Nice crunch to them. Yeah. Cold night in front of the telly. That does the job. That is comfort food. Mmm. Mm. But you know, kids would love this. Oh, yeah. 
It really is. Mm. Uh, I love that sweet chili chili sauce though, not fairness, but. Mm. Does it work with it? Yeah. It does. It does, mm -hmm. yeah. So lots of inspiring dinner ideas there, but Marissa, tell us who's won. Thank you, Martin. Congratulations to our three finalists. I'm delighted to announce that the winner of the 2015 Bird's Eye Everyday Inspirations is Liam Curley Pea Soup with Smoked Rashers. The next category is Fabulous Fell, sponsored by Moy Park and presented by Paul Birch. Our judges were hunting for the tastiest chicken dish, so let's see how they got on. I'm going to cook parms and chicken goujons today. Uh, I'm cooking them because I love them and they're easy to make and my family love them too. I'm cooking a dish called Jumpin' Jambalaya. Uh, it's a really easy dish to cook and it's a great one for the whole family and all your friends as well. I'm cooking chicken fajitas with homemade guacamole and salsa because I made it at a practical in middle college and it became a Friday night favourite within the families from then on. This is my chicken fajitas and I think they turned out great. These are parms and chicken goujons and they're paramilitious. This is my jump and jambalaya and it's hopping with flavour. But okay. the chicken and the chorizo were beautifully too. No, it's though. nice. I think yeah. it's a lovely, lovely dish. It could mm. maybe do with being a bit looser, but then we have to know that yeah. it's taken a while maybe for us to taste it. Lovely. Nicely seasoned, lovely bit of moisture still on the chicken. Mm. And as she rightly said, so many children love the frozen version of these. So much Why not make them fresh at home? Yeah. That's mm. good. That's beautiful. Lots of mm. veg in here. Presumably that's homemade as well. No mm. guacamole is done, is it? It's well. very nice. got a nice little kick to it. Have a taste mm. of it. Paul, let's see who's won. Wow, some excellent cooking skills here, I think you'll agree. The winner of the award for the Fabulous Fowl, sponsored by Moy Park, is Chelsea Sutherland, chicken fajitas with homemade guacamole. Well, there really have been some fabulous dishes and some real home cook heroes so far. Have you picked your favourite? After the break, we've got more categories to tantalise your taste buds and we'll announce the judge's choice of the easy food dish of the year. So we'll see you again after this break. Welcome back to the Easy Food Magazine's Home Cook Hero Awards for 2015. It's been a great show so far and there's plenty more to come. So the next category is Super Seeds, sponsored by Linwoods and presented by Sarah Shimmons. <laughs> now I'm really looking forward to seeing how our finalists got on this morning and how they coped under the pressure. Let's have a look. I'm going to make a winter warmer soup with pumpkin crusty bread. This is a soup my mum would have made and bread that she also made and I'm giving it a slight twist by adding pumpkins to it. Uh, today I'm going to cook lemon and poppy seed pancakes and cooking these because they're gluten free and my dad is celiac. They're a nice nutritious breakfast for him. I'm making individual blueberry banana breads. Uh, it's something I love to cook with my fiance and sharing with family and friends. These are my blueberry banana bites. They are scrummed and yumptious. These are my lemon and poppy seed pancakes. Mm -mm -mm. This is my winter warmer country soup and it tastes fabulous. Mm. Delicious. Great taste. Mm. Really good. Unusual. Mm. Really good. Wow. This has farmhouse written all over it. it. Does, this is it? my kind of food. It's, yeah, it's amazing. Perfect for a day like today. Mm. Mm. Full of goodness. Mm. Mm. But tastes like a treat. So it's the perfect combination. It's time to find out who our winner is. Sarah. Thanks, Martin. The winner of the Super Seeds category, sponsored by Linwoods, is... Joyce Doherty, Winter Warmer Soup and Pumpkin Bread.
Now remember, all of our winners tonight are put forward for the top honour of becoming the easy food dish of the year. So stay tuned for that. Next, it's time for Natural Protein Power, sponsored by Green Farm Foods and presented by Robert Patton from Green Farm. Back at Cook's Academy, our judges were looking for wholesome, energy-packed meals for the whole family. Let's see what happened. I'm going to make a chicken and sweet potato frittata because it's really tasty, really quick to make and a very good student food. Um, I'm cooking mini chicken and paprika pots. I'm cooking it because I love cooking for my friends and it's my friend's me and my best friend Mia's favourite dish. I am cooking chicken and mushroom sauce with breadcrumbs and cheese on top and I'm cooking it because my mum's been making it ever since I was very young and I really enjoy it. This is my chicken and mushroom bacon, it's out of this world. This is my mini chicken and paprika pot. It is paprika delicious. This is my chicken and sweet potato frittata and it is phenomenal. The concept behind it is fantastic. A tiny bit of seasoning, a bit of salt, a bit of pepper in there and that would have rounded that beautifully. Isn't that such a clever way to get cool. children to eat the vegetables with their main dinner? Because it's fun. That's yeah. actually a great idea, I'm taking that home. Could do a little bit more seasoning, but I mean, apart from that, I mean, it's it's a nice little, um, little dish, dish. Isn't it? Yeah. 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 Fair play. Robert, tell us who the winner is. Thanks, Martin. I'm delighted to announce the winner of the Natural Protein Power, sponsored by Green Farm Foods, is Holly Meehan for her mini chicken paprika pots. <laughs> The next category is Tiny Tastes, sponsored by Easy Parenting magazine and presented by Donna Ahern. In this category, finalists made their favourite dishes to fill tiny tummies. So let's see how they got on. I'm going to cook pizza wheels because recently uh, I had to cook for my younger brothers and they, they wouldn't like that much, so I had to try and find a way to make it look as appetising as possible for younger children. I'm making yummy lunchbox muffins and I found it on the internet and I made it better by putting in my own ingredients. Today I'm making flapjacks. I love them, Daddy loves them and most importantly the kids love them. These are my yummy lunchbox muffins and they turned out amazing. These are my healthy flapjacks and I'm really happy with how they turned out. These are my pizza wheels and they're really nice. This would be great at a little canapé party, wouldn't it? Mm. The kids mm. love that. That's a cute idea. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's delicious. So it's like an omelette come sort of potato. Mm. It's a nice thing. That's delicious. Oh, wow. It's like mm. a keef. It is nice. And that's with honey. Or I too. really like them. Yeah. Mm. Not really too good. sweet. Guys, that all looked delicious, so well done. But Donna, there can only be one winner. Let's see who it is. Thanks, Martin. The award for the Tiny Taste category, sponsored by Easy Parenting magazine, goes to Grace Quigley. Now, we've covered all eight categories, but we're not finished yet. Oh, no. We have two more special awards that we would like to present to two of our home cook heroes. The first is the award for best cooking skills, which is an award for the finalists that displayed the best cooking skills across all the categories. So this award is sponsored by Cooks Academy, and here is Cormac Murphy from Cooks Academy to announce the winner. On behalf of Cooks Academy, it gives me huge pleasure to announce Amy Ryan as the winner. And so, to the final and overall award of the evening. It's the Easy Food Dish of the Year. This award is sponsored by our title sponsor tonight, Kenwood. So please welcome Susan Coleman from Kenwood to award the winner with an incredible limited edition Kenwood Chef Sense kitchen machine. 
The award is given to the dish that really stood out for the judges today as the most outstanding and creative dish, and each winner from the eight categories automatically qualify for this award. Speaking from experience, all I can say is every year the standard just goes up mm. and up and up. But for yeah. me, I think Joyce's winter soup was really nice. Mm. The, I think the presentation alone was really uh, quite special and the bread that she made mm. within the time allocation mm. that she had. I love the potato cakes with the chorizo. They were just such a clever twist on an old favourite, just really modernising such an Irish classic dish. Yeah. I did like, you know those little chicken pots, you know, with the mushrooms in them? Oh, oh yes. I yeah, actually yeah. thought they were gorgeous. You know those brownie pizza slices? Yes. Oh, yes. yes, yes I'm yes. keeping my voice low because they're my best kept secret now because I just <laughs> think they're amazing. Susan, it's time for everyone to find out. Who is 2015's Dish of the Year? Thank you, Martin. So, it gives me great pleasure to announce that the winner of the 2015 Easy Food Dish of the Year is Joy Sardi, Winter Warmer Soup and Pumpkin Bread. That brings us to the end of the awards. Seeing so much talent in one competition is absolutely fantastic. On behalf of Easy Food and the Home Cook Hero judges, I would like to thank you so much for entering the competition and for attending this evening. Congratulations again to all our winners and enjoy the rest of your evening. We hope to see you all back again next year for the Easy Food Home Cook Hero Awards 2016.